everyone, so earlier in the year I had done an episode of Dolly Diaries where I mentioned I was reorganizing this doll slash craft room and I had asked if any of you would be interested in maybe seeing an update because I filmed a tour of this back in 2016. It's been almost exactly three years and quite a few people said that they were interested in seeing an updated video because maybe it could give them some ideas on organization because if you know me, you know I love organizing. Um, I held off on filming it initially because I was deciding to like go through everything and make sure it was all organized the way I wanted it to be, but then I kind of just forgot and I kept writing it on my to-do list and then I just wouldn't have time. So we're doing it now, I hope you don't mind. I will link my original video in the description below. I spent a lot of time in this room so I want it to be really organized, I want it to be like make me happy when I'm in here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and uh, let's just get to it. So when you walk into the room, this is what you see. There is no door in this room because of this shelf. That is what it looks like. It this is just my big brat shelf that everybody notices. <laughs> uh, my uncle built this for me after my dad passed away, and then this is my dollhouse that my dad got me for my 20th birthday at the flea market, and that's also where some brat dolls go. So when you first walk in, this is new. Before there were um, plastic drawer things like this one over here. I still have them. Anything that's like not in this room anymore, I will say, is being repurposed somewhere else in the house. So <clears throat> these are my favorite dolls that belong to my grandmother and I make a lot of hair accessories for dolls and on my dining room table I have another one of my mom's vases with fake flowers and that's actually because I buy these for projects and then rather than stick them in a bin I just put them on display. And Kara over here, she has that gimpy arm that likes to fall off, so I'm going to make her stand eventually. She's not allowed in general population anymore, so she's just hanging out here. And I try to keep this space clear because the light switch is right here, and I don't want to knock anything over. And honestly, I don't, I know I have a lot of dolls on display, but if you watched my house tour, like, on the counters and tables, I don't like a lot of clutter. It just kind of, like, I don't know, it bothers me. So this cubby unit here came from Ocean State Job Lot for $35 and it has nine compartments, which is why I wanted it, because I wanted like a lot of cubbies. Um, but the bins themselves are actually from the dollar store. They were a dollar each. They are flimsy, but they hold lightweight items. So if you're gonna buy like a cube system like this and you're gonna put heavier items, definitely spend a bit more on the, um, on the little totes. So in here I just have wraps of fleece. This is all uh, leftover felt from high school projects and I also have some stuffing from making guinea pig bedding. Um, in here, this is usually where I keep mending. There's nothing in here right now. I currently have an old sheet in here because I'm going to be making more potpourri sachets for my dolls so I just kind of tucked it in there. This is where I keep all my ribbons. a little bit sloppy looking on top. I do want to say that I have part of why I have so many different art supplies is because after my grandmother passed away, I got to keep all of her crafting stuff. And then when my friend's grandmother passed away in 2016, my friend and her mom gave me a bunch of her grandmother's old things. So that's part of why I have so much ribbon, but I make a lot of doll stuff. And then this is kind of like random scraps. So these are lace scraps, ribbon scraps, beads, pom-poms. Um, everything's like organized in bags and things, but this is all stuff for making little accessories for dolls. And then this is where I keep all of my smaller organizers. You can see I have a few different ones. These hold like little fabric flowers and stuff. And this is the potpourri I mentioned. This is where I keep potpourri um, that I get for putting with my doll stuff to keep it smelling fresh. And then you can see I need to make, like tie these together. These are all pre-sewn. Uh, potpourri sachets that I'm gonna put in with my dolls. And then down here we have all my paint. This is like acrylic paint that I use for all different kinds of things. And then in here I have all of my sealers and paint palettes. So these are spray sealers. I also have resin things that I was working on. This is where I keep my resin, my cup for water for when I paint, my molds for resin because I make resin hair accessories and I have these are all different kinds of like sealers and mixing mediums and then in this last one here this is where I keep recycled 
bags. I baggy my doll clothes and doll furniture and sometimes when we're reorganizing we'll swap bags around and we don't throw them out as long as they're like not dirty and they don't have holes we save them and that's where they go. I like these because you can just slide them out, pull the whole thing out if you want. It makes it really easy to access the items and um, rather than have them all in individual containers. So yep, yeah, this is my dollhouse. These drawers used to have things in them, but as this has gotten older, um, the drawers have trouble opening and I often have to re-screw them together, so they, they're empty. And this tote used to be over here, this set of drawers. I got this at Walmart when I first reorganized this room. I love it so much that I have two more downstairs for doll accessories just like it. I want to say it was about $30, which is kind of expensive, but I have gotten secondhand ones like this. Or so uh, these are Colleen's binders. They don't usually live in here, but she's writing a book right now, and that's the hard copies. And then this is my paper cutter. Uh, I put it here because... It's really big and clunky and it tends to get in the way when I put it on the shelves so I don't really care if it gets a little faded by the sun. Um, that's something to keep in mind like I don't put things in front of the window because if it's directly in front of the window the UV rays will damage it. Um, so this is pretty much the same. This is where I keep all my clay stuff. My polymer clay for making doll hair accessories so I have like these little measuring things that I make the clay on, this pencil pouch from high school that has all my tools. I keep foil for baking things in the oven um, rather than getting a new sheet out each time. This little basket here has my um, glazes and these are like the bacon bond. And this is my small doll projects drawer. This hasn't changed much since the last time. This big plastic organizer was something my grandmother had and she used to keep jewelry in it, but it doesn't have a top so it kind of has to sit in a drawer. So you can see I have like flocking for dolls, clear nail polish for doll related things, um, the salt shaker I use for flocking, this is the acrylic liquid and powder I use for neck repairs. These are special tweezers and crochet hooks and like my rerouting tool my dad made me these things for rerouting um, straw rollers for when I do their hair. I keep these little like nail file things that come with the acrylic liquid and powder because they can be good for sanding this stuff down when it hard hardens um, and then these are just more crochet hooks. I keep a little plastic tray for mixing the acrylic liquid and powder so I'm not creating trash each time. Those are some of the empty empties in case I want to put things in them. Uh, yeah, and then this is all hair from rerouting. Now a lot of this stuff I did not buy. It was like donor hair from different dolls and but there are there is hair that I did buy like you can see RestoreDoll.com I have like some of their baggies and some from Dolly Hair. I also like to keep some toothpicks and pointed Q-tips um, on hand and then this is my bleach pen. And then this has reorganized from last time, so I like to put um, little containers in bigger drawers because that way everything stays more contained. So this is where I keep all my glue. This is my Mod Podge. And then something new that I've done in here is I put um, an old body spray bottle filled with water and my gel because I take a lot of photos. This room is where I take all of my photos for Flickr pretty much, um, like my guide photos. So when I do those photos, uh, I like the dolls to look their best and sometimes I need to gel things so it's easier just to have it in here rather than go into the bathroom and get it out. These little totes, these two, came from the dollar store. They're really handy and skinny. So these are like my scissors and like my box cutter and extra blades. Uh, and then this is, like I said, what I keep for just the dolls. So I have another spray bottle in here. I use this makeup brush to dust my dolls. So this is something I've been doing the past year and it works out really well. I have one of my wig brushes, a few rat tail combs, and then these are my doll hair cutting scissors because a lot of times um, I'll need to trim up their bangs or a few straggly bits. And then this is just tape and rulers. It's really handy because then I can just reach in here, grab a comb, whether I'm taking a photo or if I'm just like dressing a doll or something. I like everything to be accessible. And then this is my larger doll projects drawer. So back here are pre-cut stand bases, pieces of dowel. This is all different kinds of tape. This is some of that clear contact paper. It's like a scrap from when I make backgrounds. That's where I keep um, like measuring tapes and rulers and the ties I use for making stands and little pliers. 
end cutters and things. Um, and I also just keep a screwdriver in here because it's handy to have one. This one has a like a flip around head. So. And then these are different wires and things that I use for making headbands. Um, I have some bungee cords for restringing American girls. I have some safety pins because those are always really handy. And then in this bottom drawer, this used to be where I kept my paint, but the paint was so heavy that this drawer would have trouble opening. So this is all of my like spare thread. I have a lot of thread because my grandmother did a lot of sewing. I have like a bunch of glue sticks and my glue gun in here. This is my sewing table. This was my grandmother's and in my first video you'll know that I had her old sewing machine like actually set up in the table. However, that sewing machine was a sewing machine from hell. No matter how many times I tried to fix it, it was just really troublesome. Even my aunt who does a lot of sewing said that it wasn't really good for a beginner. So I ended up donating that one, but um, I do have a new sewing machine you'll see in a minute. I don't keep it out here because my cats like to climb on here and then their hair gets in the sewing machine and it's right by the sun. So I think it's better just to keep it packed up and pull it out when I wanna use it. But this table gets used for like many different things. Sometimes I'll sit here and fix something doll related or we'll put dolls here. And it does have like a little drawer for things. Over here we have some pictures calling took that out of coloring book and colored it in for me. Um, Master of Four Elements made me this. It was from Mimi's Little Universe. She gave this to me, uh, sent this to me really recently. Um, I'll be getting it a frame today. My lamp. This is my dad's stuffed monkey ape that he got at the flea market when he was sick and he just brought him in here one day and put him around my old lamp which died, it fell apart. So I got this one which is a lot better. This desk I got for Christmas in 2009. My dad and I went to this store called the Mill Stores where they sell like homemade unfinished furniture or you can get it for finished. Um, so this is what I used to do a lot of drawing on and I just like sitting up high. For some reason, like when I eat, I wanna sit at a stool. I like to drive in my Jeep, which sits up higher. I just like to sit up higher. And then these cabinets were in the kitchen a long time ago because our kitchen and dining room used to be two separate rooms. And these were on the wall that is now taken down. And then this was in the basement for a long time being used for like canned foods. And then it just stopped getting used. And I suggested to my dad that I could put art stuff in here. So we hung it up and there is supposed to be a panel that goes over here and I do have the panel but I keep it open because you can see I have like paint brushes and when they're um, once I wash them I can just stick them right here to dry and the air can circulate this is like where I keep my exacto blades this was my dad's and then right here this little tote I've had since high school this has like all of my special artist pencils and um, erasers pencil sharpeners some glitter um, ink, things like that. I have some spare canvas, crayons, markers, and then this is where I keep my sketchbook, my chalk pastels, colored pencils. And then this is where I keep all of my paint brushes. I have them organized more now than I did in my last video. Colleen made me this for Mother's Day. It's really funny. Uh, I have different sponges in here. I use those for making backgrounds. These are all my medium sized brushes, my large sized brushes, and then these are all my tiny guys. And if you're wondering where the jars are from, these are all recycled peanut butter jars. And this one is actually from Jelly. This isn't really doll related. These are all just like envelopes and um, spare little notebooks Colleen found when she was cleaning her room. And then these are all of the doll guides that I've made. Yeah, they're ginormous. <laughs> um, and I have more too, I just don't print them out anymore, but it's handy having printed versions of some of these. And then I have like taller spare notebooks and envelopes. Here, this is all just crafting stuff left over from high school, like popsicle sticks, stencils, pipe cleaners, things that I don't really use all that often, and those are like rolls for change. These are two art kits that I've had since high school, my dad got them for me at Christmas when I was 15. This is my button jar. This was actually my mom's button jar. I have these two little note card things that hold index cards, my label maker, an extra Harry Potter pencil pouch. And in here, this is all stuff left over from high school projects. It's like 
different kinds of clay and things that I don't usually use but I don't want to get rid of. Then I have whiteboards. This is like a weekly one. Um, sometimes it helps if I'm scheduling videos out so I remember what day I have something scheduled to go up and then I can make sure it's like made public on Flickr too. And then this is my whiteboard. We always write little notes to each other, like calling we'll, we'll write like, oh, someone commented on this. Or if there's um, a picture that we want to remember to take really quickly, we'll jot it down. This is the computer desk. This has been in the house for as long as I can remember. Our very first computer, Windows 98, lived in this. And it's really nice quality, and I like how compact it is. And this room is tiny, so it works out perfectly. So up top here, I used to have more dolls. I still have those dolls. They're just downstairs um, living in my parents' room. Because, But I do have my brass key Snow Whites. Uh, my little Pink Panther. I'm obsessed with the Pink Panther. I have containers that I got. Actually, when we redid my bedroom many years ago, I used to have a computer desk in there. And um, these are my Sharpies, pens and pencils. This little guy has like erasers, paper clips, and tacks. Obviously, just like the modem and stuff. These are all my felt tip markers. I have a ton of them because I love writing in felt tip markers. And I also have like coloring books that I use these in. And then these are my whiteboard markers and the eraser. And these are actually candle jars that I recycled. I find that candle jars work really well, especially because see how like chunky these are and how big the eraser is. Uh, I don't burn candles all that often because I have small animals, but when I do, I will just recycle the, I'll melt out the wax in them and then use them for things like this. And this is my computer. So this is mostly just office-y stuff. I mean, I do use a lot of it for dolls, but I don't want to bore you. Just like paper clips and clamps and a staple remover and the quick TV cleaner. These are all like the labels that I use on doll bags and then there's index cards back there and then these are like calculators, hole punches, whiteout, and this is like the putty we use for photos. It's in a big gross ball. And back there is stapler as a big post-it pad. And then down here these are just like reinforcements and stuff and this is just the um, special microfiber cloth for the TV. This thing I just keep smaller post-it notes and also like spare USB cards and things and pencil lead. Empty pencil case if I need to take pens or pencils with me on the go somewhere. I, have, I usually have more uh, sticky note things on my desk but I currently I took them down because I'm rewriting them but this was when I was redoing the inventories I had a checklist to check here these are just CDs and then these this is new I used to have like bill related stuff over here this is all like doll things so this is really easy because I can pull it out this is my monthly goals list you can see and also where I keep my master lists for projects we're working on like Flickr stuff so it's really easy just to pull out. I have my sketchbook here where I keep paper for um, other lists I'm writing. So these were like some clothing photos we wanted to retake. And anytime we get dolls and I'm writing down their body info and line info and stuff in preparation for my Flickr guide, I'll usually rip the piece of paper out and I'll stick it under here. You can see that's the one I'm currently working on. This is just um, a notebook in case we need lined paper. This is Colleen's little notebook that she uses when she writes lists of things she needs to get from downstairs. There's, there's like another notebook back there too that's really tiny that has different lists in it. And then this is my uh, Hello Kitty binder. This is where my all my doll inventories go. Yes, they're all printed in here. I have a video on how I inventory and identify dolls. It's slightly changed since then, but before I used to keep this stuff in the cabinet, but honestly, most of the time when I'm at the computer, I'm working on something for Flickr or something for YouTube, and it's really easy if I need to like check a doll's box date or I want to... I don't know, like look at a doll's country make, I can just pull this out and reference it. Same with my um, to-do list, say I like write a fun fact on Flickr and I want to check it off, I can just pull it out and check it off. And then down here isn't really anything exciting. We did have to get a new printer at the beginning of the year, Mr. Kodak was just not cooperating. So that's the printer and then I keep like my mic for doing videos, that's just like 
uh, GPS boxes and stuff. Um, and then I always keep my camera, the charger, the cords, all in my camera box. This is the camera I have. I got it like six years ago in the summer of 2013, and I love it. It's just a little kind of basic camera. That's all like computer paper. And oh, I keep my stamps in this little cubby. This is my other doll shelf. It has a twin in my bedroom, but um, I actually did this one with Hello Kitty contact paper, and I painted this white. It didn't come white. Uh, it's really cheap and chinzy, but it gets the job done. And then in here, when Dad and I redid this room, he decided to take the door off the closet to keep it open. I really like open, airy places. Um, I don't like to feel cramped and crowded, so I really liked his idea to do that. And then we just, he installed this plastic shelf in here, which is very durable. So up top, I have just extra canvases and large paper pads, but then the main thing I keep up here is actually um, like the backdrop I use for all of my Flickr guide photos, and then this is the one that I use for play sets. They do have other like reverse sides that are just normal backdrops, but the rest of my backdrops live downstairs in the closet because I have way too many. Um, but I use these all the time and rather than having to go downstairs, and then this is where all that bill stuff moved into. I split it up and reorganized it into these two things. This basket is where I keep any dolls that are, you know, waiting for things. So Francie's in there for photos because um, their twin is outside getting stain removal treatment and Bijou's a new doll waiting for a photo. And then this little Bratz case I've had since 2012. I got it um, in a Craigslist lot with some Bratz. And I keep doll clothes, so anytime, like I have Francie out there right now getting stain removal treatment, her clothes and the Monster High doll she's with there in here, or any like little teeny projects, I'll just put in here. And I have a smaller Ziploc in here to hold any earrings or tiny shoes. That way everything has a place and I don't get stressed out and I don't have to worry about where things went because that used to be a problem. Like I'd forget where an outfit went, something would get lost. This is my sewing kit. I got this little thread rack at Walmart for $10 and I love it because it makes it so much easier when I need to mend doll clothes or I'm going to sew something to grab like the special color thread I want. And then this guy is my new sewing machine. I've had it for about a year and a half now. And I, I do use it actually really often, but I pack it up in its box and it has like the original plastic wrap over it just to keep it safe and clean and like as new as possible. This is all my jewelry stuff. So this is where I keep all of my little jars of beads and then the tools and things. And then all of these beads and charms and salvaged materials. And this one here is where I keep extra scrapbook paper. And that's my tripod. That's my art portfolio from high school. Back there is leftover wrapping paper and dowels and things. So the wrapping paper was from making doll backgrounds. And you can see there's some poster board. Um, just things I use for different projects. I use this meter stick to trim doll backgrounds sometimes as like a guide. Down here, these are new. These are really hefty, good quality totes. These were $7 each at Ocean State Job Lot. And this is where I keep all of my paper. So these are like coloring book pages I saved for projects, um, recycled American Girl magazines, extra paper from backgrounds, all my construction paper, clear sheet protectors that I use for like inventorying and in any doll guides, anything important that I print out, I put in those, and then extra folders. And then in the guy next to it, this is where I keep all of my smaller stuff. So these are just some extra things from calendars. But I have little baggies of all kinds of things, so random paper things that might have come with dolls. Um, these are pamphlets that come with dolls. Bratz box art that I'll use for backgrounds. These are all my stickers. These are just miscellaneous paper scraps. And then the rest are all just cutouts. I've shown it in videos before, but like when I get little ads for grocery stores and things in the mail, I will cut out any useful pictures because I use them to make crafts. And they're all in labeled bags, so like one's baked goods and one's fruit and one's prepared foods. And then these are props I made for videos. Um, and then you can see I have like this pen pal book set and Harry Potter Valentine set um, to repurpose for different crafts. And then this 
tote was five dollars at Walmart and I just keep my large fabric in there um, I have two of those for my pets for like their laundry and then one for like when I sweep out their cages and clean their cages and stuff they're really handy um, they don't have them at Walmart anymore but they sell things like that all the time it's just really good because it has handles and I hope you guys enjoyed this video maybe it could give you some ideas if you're looking to reorganize until next time love your dolls love yourself and love your life